Well, here we are. We're at uh, Lance's Big Shed. Thanks for having us, Lance. Anytime. This is uh, magnificent, your collection here. Well. So let's start. You well, tell the Lance Wilson story. So roughly, when did you get into, how did you get into Speedway? What's your, because <laughs> my parents got me into Speedway as a kid. Okay, well, uh, the funny story, um, I went to the Sydney Showground in 1963. Okay. With my older brother. And um, I've never stopped going. Yeah, well, I know you're... And he's <laughs> never been since. <laughs> so... Created a monster lens. I, I, well, I, <laughs> I, the, the story I tell is that as I grew up, uh, my teenage years, uh, my schoolmates and my teenage mates were on the grog all the time. Yeah. Uh, then the wacky weed. Yeah. And my... my um, I, I left school the day I turned 15. I hated it. Yeah, same thing. But I, I lucked into a very good boss who sent me back to night school. Yep. And my regime was night school for four nights a week. Yeah. Then the Pendle Hill pub <laughs> Friday night and until Parramatta yeah. started. Yeah. Uh, then I'd be at Liverpool yeah. or the showground Saturday night. Yeah. Uh, that and, was the 80s? And uh, around 70s, late, 80s. Yeah, late 70s, 80s, yeah. And, and a lot of people <laughs> don't believe it, but... I'll show you. I've got proof up there. It's hanging on the wall. Yeah. Uh, surfing at DY on Sundays. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And I've got one of the boards oh. up the. Oh, okay. So back. you're a bit of a so, surfer too. One extreme to the other, Lance. Yeah. So <laughs> you know that was that was my life for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Speedway surfing yep. school. But um, it, it led to me meeting yeah. a lot of good people. Yeah. Well, um, I always say that the Speedway fam, like I just. Met Roger for the second time. Yeah. <laughs> and I just said, you know, you know people I know, and it's like a big web. It's a big net, you know. Well, the Speedway family's been good. Yeah. Um, and I know it's your life. Like, you know, like yeah. I said, made a lot of friends. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've made any enemies, and if I have, <laughs> I don't care. No, that's it, mate. Too bad. People don't like me either, and I don't but, care either. Um, this, is, this is what we call the big shed. This, and, is, this is it. And, and so there that's... is a lot of things on the other side of the wall of fame. Yeah that I have been collecting since 1963. Yeah, I know you've got a big, I've heard you've got, mag, well, I've got magazines too, but yep. you've got plenty of memorabilia too. Stuff. And, and, and if we, you were here an hour ago, you would have seen oh. um, the Bob Blacklaw Modified. Yeah. That, so, that streak won the a first nice car. Yeah. feature race at Parramatta yeah. in 1977. Yep. Uh, but unfortunately, I've had to get rid of that Yeah. to, to make, make some room. room. Yeah. Uh, we're working on the Callahan, the Callahan Graham car. Falcon. Yeah, which is um, over there. We're <coughs> resurrecting Whoops. it to do some slow laps in. Yeah, just some exhibition slow laps. Yeah. Too good a car to wreck because yeah, it's so got a lot of history. It's all original. Um, and with the help of uh, Max Dumsney, uh, we're getting tyres from the States. Uh, another good sprint car guy, Paul Sturton, has done the radiator for us. Okay. Uh, Sammy Walsh yep. helped us from Rocket with some yep. hoses and fittings, which mm. are under the bonnet. And I'm not lifting lens, that yeah. up. It's not light. No, it's all so, right. Um, Proper steel lens. That's not carbon fibre or any of that that's all new steel. stuff. Yeah. So that'll be uh, hopefully on the track uh, in She's the not-so-distant um, future. Just... Um, in the middle of a refurbish. Yeah, it's been, has the last time it saw fired a shot in anger was about 25 years ago. Yeah, oh yeah. But we have been firing it. Oh yeah, I've seen it running but yeah. Yeah, and going at different places, but it's that's how it's virtually finished Bathurst. Yeah, that's that's yeah. it. So is that the, excuse my ignorance, but is that the X? That's the XE. Yeah, but that's not, so the X. Uh, D and that, that was a different car. A completely different yeah, car. Yeah, it wasn't the 100, because I know they reshoot them and all that. From memory, the XD went to a guy, Michael Caruso, oh, who yeah. turned it into a sports sedan. Okay. Uh, well, I do have photos of the car on the wall. Yeah, okay. But uh, a lot of the running gear is in this car. Yep. And, oh, um, yeah, yeah, which is the, what they did back then, uh, transferred stuff over. And then we um, went to Group A. Yeah. Commodores. Commodores, that's right. Yeah. And, and Brian liked Callahan the Callahan Pavers. Well, not the one I remember, the red one. Well, which, the what first one, one was many? the multicoloured 
the Valvoline car that I called it, the multicoloured red, blue, green, uh, red, okay. blue. Just tell, yeah. Uh, and the last one was the Walkinshaw. Yeah, which, the yellow which one. Brian was very competitive yeah. in that particular car. He was pretty good in everything, wasn't he? He was very good hey? in a lot of, just about everything he yeah, drove. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I remember him at Liverpool and that. And, yeah. And, and beautifully, well, especially the um, later cars, I very nice presented. Well, I'll, I'll get to that with the replica Tirana. Yeah, well, uh, we are going to get around there. When we bumped into the original sign writer, <laughs> of a statement that Larry made yeah. about that soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this beast here, this is our latest project. Yeah. This, uh, the chassis and what you're looking at, um, the chassis's been re powder coated by a good mate of mine. Ray Stanshaw that has powder coating in Blacktown. But yep. we purchased this off a USAC driver, uh, John Stambra in Indiana. Yep. And the actual driver was Charlie Workman. Yep. And this is another project we're going to put together to run uh, vintage demonstrations in. So what sort of power plant is that going to run, Lance? Uh, you'll see that shortly. It's behind the wall. It's a three, going to have a 350 Chevy in it. Yep. Um, but it's... Detuned. It's it's detuned, so you can. Well, it's come out of a 1971 Pontiac. Okay. So uh, it's had a few trick bits put into it, I'm yeah. told. But this, uh, and there's a reason behind us building this particular car, and you'll see that in a moment. But yeah, uh, this is just something we're taking our time on. Um, yeah. Due to that magic word, COVID. Yeah. Uh, exactly. The chassis and the body panels came with the chassis. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that looks good, Lance. Yeah, um, so this car was a USAC wingless sprint car. Came from Indiana. Yep. Um, we lucked into this from a, a, a very good driver over there, John Stambra. And um, the owner driver was a guy named Charlie Workman, who I have spoken to Charlie. Yep. And as he refers to us down under, he said, Man, I was just a two bob racer. Went yeah. out there, so had a days go. to have fun. Had a go. That's it. Just went out there to have fun with my dad. So. Exactly. Um, but and they're the guys that this channel wants to, like here. I don't mean in America, but we want to talk with the low budget so racers, grassroots racers. You know, my uh, good mate Mark Smith, who's who's pit crewed and crew chief for a lot of good Sydney drivers. Yep. Uh, is guiding me in building the car and uh, he's done most of the work on the car. Yep. Um, and uh, another guy I called one of my adopted sons, Brett Bryan, who wants to get into vintage. Yep. Young, young guy. Yep. Uh, he's helping as well. And so the Mark, cars will be older than him? It would be, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Mark, on the other side, if you can see, Mark's done a lot of the new sheet metal work. Okay. Taken off a lot of the old panels. Uh, the tail tanks outside, but yep. this will be a good car just to have fun in. A bit of fun without destroying a without car destroying with history. It. Yeah, exactly. Like the um, Burton car. We're, we're, we're tossing up whether to paint it. Uh, we've got yeah. a colour scheme in mind, but a lot of people are going, mate, just leave it as it is. So. Yeah, well, I mean, that's probably got a bit of yeah. pat patina like that, hasn't it? And it's got a bit of history. With, it's well, it has. Even though it mightn't be a uh, no, well-known car, but... But, you know, it's... um. You know, so far we've had the, the chassis powder coated by another good mate of mine, Ray Stanshaw. Yep. From past powder coating in here in Sydney. Yeah. Um, and even as as we're doing this, I'm getting messages from. Yeah, we are going to keep stopping the field. One of your friends up north, Brody Tullock, he's trying to help me with some rear end bits. So okay. We're on the case. Yeah. <laughs> well, if ever you need any, I don't know, helping Brisbane, I'm I'm. Up oh, there, I know so. where you are. Don't worry yeah, about well, that. Yeah, you can track me down. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, again, another another famous guy in Sydney, Brett Loadsman's given yep. me a top wing. Okay. Uh, so, squirt in the dirt, or do we paint it? Yeah. What do you do? Like, yeah, I know, that's it's hard. history out there I'm looking at right now. So. <coughs> um, the motor, motor's around the corner, it'll be a 350 Chev yep. with a carburetor. I'm not that fuss whether we feel injected or not. I, well, you still have a bit of fun. I'm not that quick. With I a just, carburetor. I just go out and have fun. Yeah. That's all I'm about. Exactly. We're not out there. We don't win anything. <laughs> We're not out there to you win. want to bring it home on the trailer, Lance? 
Yeah, and you know that's what I enjoy. So yeah, no, that's good. Um, Wish I was doing it. That's it. I'm just still on the others, but I'm hey, doing you, this now. You, so you, you get a kick out of making the stickers and the cups for I me. I do. I love. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love the artwork side of it and yeah. producing things that you can't well, buy. Well, you know? one thing I've already got fun out of this is I've already spoken to Wallace. This guy's from Indiana. Yeah. Um, I'm waiting for him to send me some decals. Yeah. Uh, now, the guy that done the decals down here. He's also from Indiana. Yep. And he said by the time he reproduced those for me, yeah. it would cost more in freight airmail yeah. than sending them over. So Ooh. he just sent me the PDF oh, okay. files. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I am a name dropper, so Roddy Bell Bowen, yeah. he done those straight away for me for like a third of the cost. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And I've got those upstairs. Yep. And they'll all go on the new yeah. panels or on the window. Yep. Although this was a wingless car in the States. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll put a wing on it. We'll put a wing on it. Because that's what we had basically yeah. back then. Didn't yeah, we? we'll put a wing on it. Yeah. All, all these decals will go on the wing. Yeah. Um, and that's good. With it. Yeah, that's really good. God. No. I'm jealous. Love it. Love oh, it. Envious, not jealous. Envious. Love it. Yeah, that's good on you, Lance. Good stuff. You know, it's just... Um, Oh, yeah, and, and of course, we need wheels, so... Okay. Yeah, we'll probably run if, better if with you, wheels. you'd be careful walking backwards, you yeah, flip over a new set of wheels and yeah. Max Dunn's and he's done. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the rear wheels are up in the container, so... That's good. And, and of course, Max and Jeremy Evans help us out. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people behind the scenes... Oh, yeah. ...that help the vintage... Yeah. ...movement as well. I wish I was down here because I'd love to be a part of it um, somehow, you know? You know, you hear all these people's names... Being bandied about with these four ten races and yeah. speed car races, late model guys. Yeah. Well, all these guys help us vintage guys too. Yeah, because you're keeping the name. Like the, and, yeah. Uh, and and without the memory, their, keeping the memory alive. Well, without their support, it's, it's like I've said uh, for a lot of years. Without their support, we can't do what we do. Yeah, that's right. Um, and that's a big family. Yeah. And and eighty percent of you all get on pretty lot well. Of, lot of. I always have a lot of respect for the Speedway family. Yeah. And and if we can give back, if we can give back, yeah, we will in, in whatever way. Because one day this will all be gone, mate. We, well, you know? again, Roger and I were only talking today that I wish, and I won't get into the politics of it. Or the R word. If, if, if the new Speedway had yeah. the least given to... The former leaseholder of Parramatta. Yeah, we would have a decent museum being built now. Okay, um, but I won't go there. No, because I that's get, for another time. I get pretty emotional. Yeah, about I that. know you do. Yeah, um, but we need a decent museum. Well, let's hope that we can get this there's, there's out two, there. And there are too many of us guys that have got stuff like this scattered yeah. around the country. Um, yeah. Somebody needs, uh, like, and I, I'm, I'm drifting away here, but <laughs> we went to the National Railway Museum at Thirlmere. Yeah, yeah, about down to Picton. From here. Yeah. And man, what a setup. Yeah. And I'm thinking, like, okay, we're there looking at steam trains. Yeah, but, but I'm still thinking speedway. Bottom line, yeah, that's I'm right. I'm thinking speedway. Exactly. The that area. Yeah. To walk into something like that. Okay, for those that have been fortunate, yeah. and I have, to go to Knoxville. Yeah. Okay, we need something bigger than that. Yeah. Our heritage well, we're a, is bigger than America. Country on its own. We've got our own history. We have. And, you know? And it's all locked up in, in, in sheds. In garages like, like yours. ours. Yeah. Um, and, and I welcome people to come. I know. Well, this is my second visit. And And... That's why I get the mugs from you because <laughs> when special people visit, yeah. they walk out yeah. with, with a, a decal yeah, okay, yeah. from the big shed. Yeah. And if they're extra special, they may get a mug. <laughs> <laughs> mug for a mug. <laughs> uh, but that's um, no, it's, it's really good. I just, I'm in the wrong state because I, I know, reckon... Like we, once a year we have a gathering here with special yeah. people and, and I remember the second last one and, and I know I w 
and people do laugh at me, but that's the way it is. But Gary Rush walked in. Yeah. And, and I was privileged. I reckon. That Rushy walked in. And the first thing he said is, where'd you get my tracksuit? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, well, yeah. That, that was donated to me. Let's have a look at that. That was donated to me by a former sedan car driver. There it is. And, um, Gary Rush. And, and Rushy's going, well, maybe I should get mine out and hang them up. Really? In well, here? Oh, you well, that's when you gave you that one. Well, you know, like, to he's whatever. probably all got them at home. In, yeah. In, in drawers or wardrobe. Yeah, okay. Oh, you got that, yeah. You know, like, mm. so that's what I mean. Yeah. That you got to get them out. Yeah. You know, people come in and uh, they see an old jacket, like this blue, this green jacket he was donated by a girl that was on the, uh, the crew at um, Parramatta. Help yep. us out in the in the in the uh, in the pits on the on the PA. Yep. Now that jacket was worn by her dad, who wow. was who was the flag waver. Plenty of history. At Western Spring Speedway in oh. New Zealand for thirty years. Oh, wow. yeah. And I said, well, why would you give it to me? She goes, it's sitting in my drawer at home. Exactly. Now, rather, who's, you know what I mean? Let's bring yeah. it out and show everyone. Get it out. Um, uh, Greg Boscato, you might have heard of Greg. Greg's a good speedway mate. Yeah. You'll see a yellow jacket up there. Yep. One I'll of the first original gambler jackets to come to Australia. Yeah. Now, do I take it down and wear it? This is a gambler chassis? Yeah. No. No. It's up there for people like you guys and everyone, everyone else to come else. and look Yeah, at to it. have a look and talk about it. Um, there's just so many things. Yeah. They, they, they may be little things, but... People, no, people it's all good, Lance. I love it. Um, you know, you, you, you can. It's like I say, everything in here has a story. Yeah. Every yeah. single item in here has a story. And and you could be here. Oh. You could be here for a full day. Because every single item, every single picture in here has a story. Exactly. Um, There's a picture up there. I just noticed. Looks familiar. Yeah. One just there. Ah, one yes. of mine. Ah, yes. Sid okay. Hopping. Yeah. Okay. That's got a story. Well, I never had. People know me. I do the artwork and the graphics. I only ever had two Australian Speedway heroes. Yep. One Sid, was Sid. Sid, yeah, I know, yeah. And one was Brian Callahan. Yep. And later in my life, um, I was privileged to meet Sammy Swindell. Yep. And I'm proud to say, even to yeah. today, I'm, I'm still a mate of his. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Everyone else that jumps in a race car, I call them, they're a gladiator, they're a hero. But exactly. To meet these three, to to be able to sit down and chat with them, to have them at our house yeah. is a privilege. Mm. Um, That's it, right. It took me a long time. It, and, and people used to say to me, oh, you don't know Swindell. Uh, it took me, and back in, in the 80s and the 90s, I, I nearly had Sammy coming here maybe five times. Yeah. I never had the money. Yeah. I was outdone by promoters that had money. But when Sammy was big, and he's still big to me, when he was big, yeah. what he commanded, it's like someone said, I, I can get McSpadden, Sherman and Danny Smith for the same price. Yeah. What would a promoter do? Yeah. Who would draw the biggest crowd? Okay. Mm. But when Sammy did come for Barry Graham for the World of Outlaws show, uh, and you will see there's a photo around the corner, <laughs> Sammy came to my house for a barbecue with Amy and Kevin. And real how's, how, that? How how's that for a bloke like over you? Over the moon was exactly, I. Exactly, a big fan. To, like, <laughs> and getting goosebumps yeah, now. Yeah. But to have have Sammy Swindell at my house having a barbecue. And actually, he's a funny guy. And some, and so, if ever, ever uh, our American friends watch this, they'll know who he Sammy, Sammy is. He's a funny guy. He, I've seen him. When I went to pick him up at Barry Graham's, Amy said, don't go near him. He's hmm. setting up the car for tomorrow night. Oh, okay. And, and, and the front end was, honestly, the front end, 
on his car was one eighth of an inch out. Yeah. And he said, I'll be with you in a minute. Chasing that one eighth. He chased it and he got it. And he said, right, let's go. Hmm. Unreal. But away from the car, completely different guy. Yeah. And really funny. Oh, we had the race face Very on. Very funny. Okay, let's get onto a car. Yeah.